The Cooper Busman Power Module Switch is an all-in-one elevator disconnect that allows communication with fire alarm control panels. We offer two normally open and two normally closed auxiliary contacts for communication and signaling with the fire alarm control panel. The A-labeled contacts are located inside the molded case switch. This set of contacts works to enable or disable the battery lowering device for situations of power loss and shunt trip signals. The B-labeled contacts are located on the manual on-off lever. Many jurisdictions require the ability to perform maintenance without sending an elevator voltage loss signal to the fire alarm control panel. The B contacts fulfill this requirement. Cooper Busman has pre-wired the B contacts with the proper jumper wire that allows easy connection of your signal wires. You will have two wires coming from your fire alarm control panel. These are the contact loops that monitor the presence of voltage in the power module. One of these wires will connect the normally closed fire relay location. The second wire will connect the normally closed B location. Depending on your specific model and features ordered, the exact location of normally closed fire relay and normally closed B may vary, but the labels will be the same on any model. Simply choose the connection points labeled with those designations. The next important feature is the installation of the end-of-line resistor, commonly referred to as the EOL. The value of this resistor can vary depending upon the brand of fire alarm control panel, so it is best to check with the equipment supplier for sizing the resistor. The EOL resistor landing point will be the same connection points as the two wires connected to the fire alarm control panel. Tighten them under the same binding screw. Some jurisdictions prefer wires close to the same size be under the same binding screw, so this may require the addition of a short length of wire with splice connectors for the EOL. The fire alarm control panel monitors loss of voltage and so factory settings are based on the reading across the resistor for normal operation. It is important to understand that the fire alarm relay is held open by power and when power is lost the relay is allowed to close into its normally closed condition. With the B option we can see that opening the handle for maintenance creates an open circuit in series with the normally closed fire relay and maintains the normal signal across the EOL resistor. This feature keeps the unit from sending a voltage loss signal to the fire alarm control panel. By looking at this communication path, you can see there is a closed path on the B auxiliary contact because the handle is in the on position. However, if we continue to follow this electrical path, we can see there is an open circuit at the normally closed fire relay point because the relay is held open by power. This forces the fire alarm control panel to read across the EOL resistor as a normal condition. If we continue to follow this electrical path, we can see there is a closed path at the normally closed fire relay point. Since the building has lost power or a smoke detector has caused a shunt trip condition, this allows the relay to close into its normally closed condition. This provides a direct signal path and initiates the trouble call through the fire alarm control panel. By having the B contacts, you can meet code in those jurisdictions that do not want a trouble signal during maintenance operations. If the code should happen to change in your jurisdiction, the B contacts make it simple to comply with the new requirements. If you have any questions, please call the Application Engineers of Cooper Busman.